You are listening to Charting Wealth for Thursday, the 3rd of March 2016. God, this year is going by. I wanted to say February so bad. Uh, I can't believe we're already into March of 2016. Who would have thought it? Okay, IYY is how we always open. That is, the total market is an index fund that tracks it. We have continued up candles market up again today, 0.52%. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven up green candles since the rotation over going up back on the 16th of March. I'm sorry, of February there. I did have the right month earlier. Uh, and we've continued to see the market go up, up, up. We've got a two-day trend line that's been tracking the market for at least the last 10 days as it continues to move up. Bollinger Bands have widened up a little more. Lots of upward movement. If we look at the four-hour chart, what do we see? Well, it continued uh, with an up move in the morning, followed by an up move in the afternoon. Like I said, up 0.52%. We've seen the market try to cross over back on the 24th of February going down, then again around the 1st of March, but it always turned around and moved back up before we had a crossover on our short chart. So we have confirmed up moves on the big and the small charts. Now, let's go from the total market IYY to SPY, which is the Standard & Poor 500. It was up 0.45%, and it again is up multiple candles over multiple days after rotating over on the 16th. Bollinger Bands have expanded. We are seeing the derivative oscillator continuing to rise, and the MACD and the red signal line are continuing to diverge. If we look intraday, what do we see? Continued upward movement, almost had a crossing over going down back around the 29th of February, the last day of the leap month. And what happened? Well, it bounced right back off the signal line and continued to move up, still above the two-day trend line. That has not been breached either. So that's where we are with the S&P 500. Lastly, as far as our indexes go, before we get to gold, we'll look at the Qs. The Qs was up 0 0.04, so four one-hundredths of a percent barely. It's actually in the negative when I saw the market earlier in the day. And it has continued to drive up for many, many days after crossing over going up a little later than the total mark in the S&P 500. NASDAQ 100 is what the Qs represents. It rotated over going up back on the 18th and has continued to build. Derivative oscillators continue to move up. And we've continued to see a divergence between the signal line and the MACD on the two-day chart. If we revert to the four-hour chart, what do we see? Some up movement in the morning and just sort of paralleled in the afternoon. It didn't go higher than the morning high. And what do we have going on? Well, we've got sort of a static move in the derivative oscillator over the last three periods. So that'd be, what, 12 hours, three, four-hour charts. And again, almost crossed over going down back on the 29th, but did not happen. So continued up movement. That's where we are. We have no entry points for you. The market has continued to surge upward. If you got in back on the 12th, you're probably quite happy with the way things have been going. Now, lastly, we're going to look at, as we always do, gold. What is gold doing? Well, those gold bugs of you, you know, gold crossed over going up back on the 16th of December, ran sideways for a little while, booted up, ran sideways around the 13th and uh, 15th of January, and then took off again, settled down after the big up move on the 12th, and has slowly started racking up again. However, the derivative oscillator, interesting to see, is in the negative. And of course, the MACD and the signal line are just sort of sliding toward each other. Not yet a crossover going down, but still technically up on the big chart. If we look at the four-hour chart, what do we see? Well, it's continued to stay above the two-day trend line. Not yet crossed over going up. Derivative oscillator is losing its speed. It seems to be getting closer, but it's not happened yet. So we'll continue to watch. That is where we are on our charts. Everything from the total market, the S&P 500, the Qs, and even gold. The gold was up 0.77% for the day. So everything is in upticks right now. 
and we'll continue to see how the markets develop. We love you to join us every day. If you've got questions, concerns, problems, issues, let us hear from you. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. We are there for you. Chartingwealth.com. Sign up to get our market reviews every day, plus our weekly review and forecast. Thank you so much. We love to hear from you at chartingwealth.com.